In this video, we're going to cover using Apps Script in Google Sheets to read and write values to different ranges. You can see we're still on this same example from the previous video, and if you haven't done so already, please see the previous video to this titled Introduction to Apps Script because I cover the very basic things and this video here will make more sense if you watch that one first. So you can see we still have our data set of orders and what we like to do starting out is take the value in cell C4 and write it to cell E4. So back in our script editor window below our first function, I wanna add a new function. So I'm going to begin with the keyword function. We'll call this single cell copy. And we'll add the basic syntax for this function. And we want to begin again with a variable to hold our spreadsheet. So that's going to be equal to our spreadsheet application followed by get active spreadsheet from there we want to get sheet by name and the name of our sheet is called orders we have a second variable and it's gonna be called source range so I'll just abbreviate that we'll just call this s rng for source range and that's going to be equal to our spreadsheet variable and then from there we want to get range we'll use this first one that has a number input for the row and column because we have starting out just a single cell range so cell c4 is the fourth row third column and from here we want to get value because we have a single cell range and now what we're saying here is this cell here we want to get the value from it and store it in this s range variable source range so before we set this in cell e4 what i want to show you is a method called logger.log and this will be very useful um, as you get into more advanced things because what you can do is reference your variable in this logger log and then view it to see what's actually stored in that variable i'm going to hit save and then up top here I need to select the function I want to run because now we have more than one function and you can see it was previously already set on our original function so I want to select the one we just created I'm gonna click run and then I'm gonna view our log and what it shows is the value from cell C4 which is stored in our S range so now what we want to do is write that to cell E4. So I'm going to reference our spreadsheet variable again. I want to get range again. We're on the same row, row 4. This time we want column E, which is the fifth column. And rather than get value, what we want to get is set value. So this is like the equivalent of copy paste get value would be like copy set value would be like paste so for the input for our set value we want to reference our source range variable again so now when I run this what we should see is this value here in cell C4 also in cell E4 so hit save make sure our function is selected up here in this list and then run and now there it is so this time we want to do a similar thing but with a multi-cell range we want to take this entire data set here and 
copy the values and set them in our sheet two. So we're gonna add a new function. We'll call this multi-cell copy. I'm gonna copy this sheet variable because that will be the same. We're gonna add a new source range. Call this source range two and this is gonna be equal to our spreadsheet variable and then get range. This time we wanna select this option that has inputs for our row and column and then the number of rows and columns we wanna go down and across. So we wanna begin in cell A1 of our spreadsheet variable. So that's row one, column one. We want to go down seven rows and across three columns. We also want to get values plural this time because we have multiple cells in our range. So now since we have sheet two, we need to create a new variable for our output spreadsheet because the current SS variable is set to the orders spreadsheet or tab I should say. So we'll call this variable spreadsheet2 and this is going to be equal to our spreadsheet app. We want to get the active spreadsheet and then we want to get sheet by name and the name of this sheet is just sheet two. And with our sheet two, we want to get range. And again, we want a range size that is equal to our source range. So we just need to make it exactly the same dimensions that our source range is. So this time we want to set values plural because we have multiple items. And the input for our set values is gonna be equal to our source range two variable. So I'll save this, make sure our current function is selected here and click run. And what we should see on sheet two now is this same data. And there it is. So that is how you can read and write single and multi-cell ranges in Google Sheets. Hey, if you like what you saw, please hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.